voice said, Hi, Richard. I had a very relaxing weekend with my family. And you? I had a fantastic weekend too. I went to the art for Mosa Fair. It was very exciting getting to know lots of artists and admiring their artworks. Yes, that's wonderful, Richard. Were there many people attending during the pandemic situation? Even under the pandemic situation, many art fairs in the first half of the year has been canceled. But this year, art for Mosa attracted a lot of people. I think the queues stretched for more than 200 meters. From the first day, even some celebrities also attended to admiring the artworks. This is confirmed my point of view regarding the current market situation. Oh, do you care to share the current market situation with me? Benefiting from the capital markets, global stock market continue to rise. The United Federal and many countries' central banks have unprecedented easy policy support the performance of risky assets. And from the unlimited QE, lead US dollar weakening. With the inflation, people are beginning to look for more stable investments. They will not suddenly plummet in price. New studies show that the wealthy are spending more of their money into the stock market, art, even real estate. So, Richard, do you think besides the stock market and real estate, jewelry is a good investment? Of course. Due to the weakening US dollar, the price of gold has been rising recently. Therefore, you can find an excellent opportunity in jewelry investment in this upward trend. So, to invest in this gemstone market, what sort of jewelry should people be looking for? Last time, though, we had a talk about Argyle Pink Diamond and the four gemstones. Ruby and Sapphire, these two gemstones are good choices to look into. Look this year, Christie Hong Kong July Auction. There is a 19 carat Burma Star Ruby sold for 20 million Hong Kong dollars. And there's the, the other 14 carat cashmere rings sold for 10 million Hong Kong dollars. Amazing. Talk about blue sapphire. I still remember your museum has the largest Sri Lankan blue sapphire weighing 101.88 carats. That is such a big, beautiful blue sapphire. I have never seen such a big blue sapphire in my life. You know that blue sapphire was not the largest blue sapphire we have here. Back in 2017, Taiwan Auction House Spring Auction, we had the world's largest star blue sapphire weighed almost 1,400 carats. Also comes from Sri Lanka, which appeared in BBC News before. Incredible, 1.349 carats. That's more than what I can hold in my hands. Isn't that the one I saw on BBC News? Yes, indeed. Can you believe the size is almost about 270 grams. Wow, that's huge. So tell me, when investing in blue sapphires, what should people be looking for? To invest in blue sapphire, we must look for several factors, such as origin, the cutting, shape, and purity, etc. Oh, so just like diamonds? Yes, it is. The most desirable blue sapphire is cashmere blue sapphire. It is so rare that it's hardly even seen on market. Only in the world auction events or museum could be seen. Richard, can you tell me more about the blue cashmere sapphire geological background? Yes, but beside the above mentioned sapphire, there are also new discoveries to look out as well if you want to invest in blue sapphire. There are Madagascar, Nigeria, and Ethiopia blue sapphire. New gem deposits are always being found in some part of the world or others. But large finds are very rare. Hence, when major sapphire deposits were found in Madagascar in 1998, it created a sensation in the gem world. Madagascar blue sapphires display blue or violet depending on the lighting. Madagascar not only just produces the quality and the variety sapphires. Also, it is the combination of the quality and the size of the gems. 
which is a combination that had not been seen in the gems business for many years. As for Nigeria sapphires, it has been mined in the central part of Nigeria for about 20 to 30 years. In 2014, Nigerian sapphires made a splash in the industry with the discovery of a significant amount of high quality blue sapphire. They were recognized for having an attractive size, high clarity, good color, and a strong crystal habit. Last but not least, Ethiopia Sapphire has a great potential. Ethiopia Sapphire was discovered back in 2017, which on the same year, July, I visited the sapphire field near Shila in the north of Ethiopia. Based on Israel Taiwan lab analysis code results, it is clear that the sapphire are related to alkali basalt flows. According to geological maps, there are several Akali basalt outcrops in the area. Approximately 10% of Chila sapphire is a pleasing soft with intense mid blue color, low in iron content. This material is a fine color which are keenly sold after by the international market. Thank you so much for your knowledge and investment regarding sapphires. This indeed is a significant piece of information to look out for. In the future, I'll remember everything that you have taught me. Anytime, brother, you are always welcome to be here. Dear friends, I hope by now you are familiar with the knowledge of sapphire and have some understanding regarding what and how to select your sapphire for your investment category. It will be my honor to invite you to visit our official website and our online auction events. Even with the pandemic situation, you still can look out and enjoy for your next investment from your comfortable home. Till next time, we meet again online. Thank you for watching. Also, if you enjoyed it, this video, please don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Also, make sure you give it a like and you can also visit my Facebook page.